Okay, hello and welcome everyone. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about this interesting economic phenomenon that I experienced in Atlanta, Georgia. So I was at the Westin downtown for the Economic History Association meeting in September and in the hotel, here's some snacks, it's water, soda cans, Pringles, vending machine M&Ms, right? Stay refreshed. All right, so this is pretty nice of them. Then look at the prices. Satisfy any craving for vending machine stuff with our signature collection of snacks and beverages. Snacks, $4, Pringles, $6, water, $6 for the 20 ounce bottle, Coca-Cola, $4 for the 12 ounce can, Diet Coke, $4, and then wine, $20 for that bottle. Good. So what's going on here? Like, why are they able to charge these prices? And like, who's willing to buy these things? Well, we can bring some of our interesting economic concepts to bear on this. First, you can think of like, Who's gonna see this? Well, people in their hotel room. You've probably now returned to the hotel room from whatever you're doing, or you're en route to whatever you're planning on accomplishing during your stay there. You probably don't have a whole lot of time available, and these things are gonna kind of take off the board a lot of the substitutes that you might have, right? So think about like your think about your next best alternative to just consuming these things. It is actually probably going without. Because think about the cost associated with going somewhere else. Well, yeah, the M&Ms are $4, Pringles are $6, the can of Coke is $4. You probably get a can of Coke for 50 cents in the right place, maybe a dollar in other places. So think about that extra price premium and what this is reflecting. Well, it's reflecting the fact that it's going to be really bothersome to go and find these same things elsewhere. Even to go down to the front desk might even, it, maybe it's even cheaper, who knows, but that even in, incurs the consumer that would do that would even incur an exist an additional cost. So what's happening? Why they can get away with this pricing strategy is that the price is going to build in not only the price of the goods and the cost to them to produce these things, and the cost is actually higher for the hotel to provide these in each room than it would be for like an ordinary vending machine because the vending machine is decentralized and it's kind of like one person that can take care of it. But to bring snacks and to stock snacks in hotel rooms, that's actually going to raise the cost a little bit. So you shouldn't expect the same prices for these things as you'd get in a vending machine or in a store it's their costs are just going to be higher but they also recognize that consumers are going to pay for convenience so these prices also build in a price premium and they can actually drive up the price to be so that the price the cost of the good plus the troublesome bother of trying to access these things from elsewhere makes it that makes uh makes the price the same so that the buyer is indifferent between just paying four dollars for a bag of m&ms versus like walking or searching out a cheaper or a like a dollar bag of m&ms that builds in the search cost and bothersome transaction cost of three dollars right so that's what they're able to do this is similar to like pricing at a football game or a concert or at a movie theater or the or at an airport right so those prices at, at those venues are all going to be a lot higher than anywhere else in some cases, assuming that they don't block re-entry, you could leave, consume whatever you want to eat, and then come back. But that builds in this, ma there's a massive nuisance cost. And what they can do is they can raise the price inside the venue up to the point where you're just slightly going to prefer paying this price premium to leaving and coming back. Or actually probably your next best alternative is like just going without, just like not buying or not consuming beverages or, or snacks or whatever, they can raise the price such that you're exactly at whatever would be your willingness to pay, take into consideration that additional uh, additional goods are not easy to come by. So, all right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed this analysis and kind of plan ahead if you find yourself in this situation in a, in a hotel to either bring the bring money to be able to, well, I guess it goes on your bill, plan ahead on being able to purchase these things or stock up before you uh, before you reach your hotel. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. See you later.